I think we're dumb. You think what? I think we're dumb. Why? I guess you're proving the point. You're so dumb yep. you can't even think of anything to say. <laughs> nope. I'm just so distracted by this uh, reunion video. The what? Oh, are you watching? You're watching the reunion? Here, why uh, don't we just... But... What? No, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking. You're talking right now? I where, paused it. Where did you even find it? On YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. Oh, frick, dude. Yeah. Freaking... School of Rock, dude. What a classic movie. Isn't that a good one? Um, Yeah. I actually... Yeah, it's a definitely a classic. It's a good one for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the iCarly chick, though. I, don't, I know she did iCarly, but... Why? I don't like her. Her her acting is... Uh, she has the same expression, like, always. Well, she's supposed to be like that, you know, like that, like that goody two-shoes, like, play by the rules, piece of junk, nah, right? Late. Wow. All right, then. Frick, <laughs> frickety frick. Dude, she's hilarious in uh, Drake and Josh, though. Drake and Josh, that's a good one. I never watched that Carly, but Drake yeah, and Josh Yeah, me neither. Was... Drake and Josh is good. It's actually on Hulu. Um, yeah. Yeah, me and Kenzie watched. It's like my one of my favorite episodes. The one where they do the like the betting and all that stuff, and Josh can't go without video games. And, oh yeah. Like he has to go without video games, and um, and uh, Drake has to go without junk food, and then freaking Drake gets like acne because he stops eating junk oh, food. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like hardcore. Yeah. So it's all red. And Josh, but then the best part of the whole episode is where. Um, like Josh turns their room into like Candyland and all that stuff, like how oh, it's like Willy yeah. Wonka's Chocolate Factory all over the place. Yeah. Actually, you know what? The best part of the friggin' episode is <laughs> is the contract that they have to sign because if the whoever like loses the bet, you have to bet. You don't have to dye your hair pink. You have to dye your hair pink. But the way that they do it is like, <laughs> like oh, what's the what's the girl's name then? Meg. I can't remember. It's like Meg or something like that. I don't know, but um. I can't remember, but it's like she has the contract, and it's like, and the loser must die. Die. And then they're like, die. Yeah. And then she's like, gives a stupid look, like, oh, yeah. And then turns the page. Their hair yeah, peak. Yeah. <laughs> and then in the end, didn't didn't Josh do it? But Drake had a wig on. Yeah, yeah. He's like idiots. Yeah, and yeah, he, he didn't. Well, the yeah, parents even bet on who would lose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they had yeah. to sign the same contract, but yeah. because they didn't read it. Um, they didn't read it very closely or whatever. Um, like, it's just whoever loses. Not whoever loses first, just whoever loses. So anyone that lost the bet, no matter what, even if it was, like, a year later, they would still have to dye their hair pink. It's so stupid. It was. It's really funny, though. I like yeah. that one. And they had to, like, initial it, like, 20,000 times. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a good, good TV show. Yeah. It's a classic. Well, welcome, everybody, <laughs> to... You ready? This week's idiot. This is your main squeeze, Austin. Joined by your little turn up, Jason. <laughs> I have no comment. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? If you guys don't know already, This Week's Idiot is a show that we do here on White and Pasty where we talk about the dumbest people on the internet and uh, why they are idiots and all that stuff. We rant about them. And you guys could be a part of the conversation too if you guys want to leave a comment below of who you think an idiot is or why you think these people are idiots as well. Absolutely do that. Um. Jason, without further ado, why don't you go ahead and reveal this week's idiot. So correct me if I'm wrong, okay. but I believe that this week's idiot is correct. those who use clickbait in their thumbnails. Ooh, anybody else agree? I agree. With my right hand, I agree. Why is my okay. face so much bigger now, than you? Sorry. Let's explain. let's explain what clickbait is just for people who don't know what this is. Yeah. Um, clickbait is those who use, like, in their thumbnail, they'll use, like, um, for instance, like a half-naked chick. Right. That's or, pretty much most of the time. That's pretty much most of the time yeah. is some girl 
who isn't dressed very well. Right. <laughs> um, and they use this so that people click on their video. And mm -hmm. a, a lot of the time, it has nothing to do with their video at all. Right. Like, like, it, they, like they might mention the word girl one time in their video and they're like, oh, we can totally put a thumbnail of a girl like, you know, and people mm -hmm. are going to click on our video. They're going to come and watch it. Yep. And that's basically what clickbait is. It's basically, and it's not only that, but it, it goes to the point of false advertising the video. Yep. Um, putting something in the thumbnail that actually has nothing to do with um, what your video is about. Yeah. Um, and it can actually go the opposite way too. Um, just going back to those live sub counts. Right. Um, if you look back to those, a lot of them they'll put as the game they'll put a Gario. Right. So then people want to see Gario. Yeah. They just Clickbait. have a live sub count up, and that's it. It's pretty stupid, honestly. Like, I mean, like it's it's smart on their part, but it's just really dumb at the same You're time because it's just. It has nothing to do with anything that you're actually yeah, talking yeah. about. Maybe it's like those, it's like those gene commercial, or maybe like old, not old spice. Like maybe some like, I don't know what kind of commercials. Like some kind of deodorant commercial where like a woman's like yeah half naked all over this guy or whatever, and then it's just like at the very end it's just like at deodorant end, or like whatever. Cologne. Yeah, cologne for men. Dior. Like and that's it. Je do the bo <laughs> Dior. And it's just yeah. like, what the heck was that even about? Yeah. Or like it's it's a jean commercial, but there's like a lady coming out of a shower and then she puts on a pair of jeans. And it's just like, yeah. this is the stupidest thing. And you people that are getting bamboozled into this crap, you guys, maybe these, the people that are getting bamboozled into it are the idiots. I don't know. I It just, it has a lot to do with, like, these people are basically, it's it's not they're basically lying to their viewers in a yeah. way it's it's not being honest it's right. not you know and i feel like a lot of people today think that they can only get far by um you know fibbing the truth or uh just like twisting things yeah and saying that it's okay you know and so i don't know it's right. it's just it's frustrating. I've that. I've seen on a, quite a few plays uh, uh, YouTube channels where maybe they do conversations kind of like we do or whatever, like conversational videos. And yeah, mm -hmm. they talk about like Superman, but then they get yeah a thumbnail of like super like a girl with a Superman suit, but it's like hardcore cleavage and it's just mm -hmm. stupid. It's like I don't know, man. It's just like sure, I guess it kind of has to do with what you're talking about, but. You're really you're kind of copying out. You're just doing whatever you can to try and get more views, which is it's smart for obviously business. Obviously, everyone is out there trying to get views. Yeah. Everyone is trying well, to yeah. have a successful channel. But are but you really going to like They have no just, moral compass. Yeah, you're going to toss yeah. away all like every your dignity moral, just like your dignity yeah. just like that. Dignity. <laughs> That's what or you're, you're you're just going to like lie about what is actually going on in your video just so you can get more views you know it's just yeah it's pretty it's pretty dumb freaking and then that kind of goes back to something that we've talked about before just on our own or whatever um is how there's a lot of streamers out there that are women who what are they what, what's the what's the they like they, they defile themselves in a way you know what i mean like deface themselves by okay if we get like like 50 more subs in the next hour i will take off my top or whatever and just have my bra on like haven't you seen streamers like that you've told me about it i don't know if i've seen a stream like that but i'm sure they exist um it's like video I, games i mean like, like where they're playing the video games but then they're like it's more like uh like a cosplay kind of thing mm. where they dress as someone so for instance they'll dress up like an anime character but they'll do it like in a risque way yeah a risque way <laughs> you know, so they won't, you know what I mean? It's more, so the the live stream isn't about the video game anymore. It's right. about, it's about the girl. Like, it's, it's about girl just sitting there watching this girl. Like right. that's what it becomes. Right. And that's kind of, it's just like, it's just, I don't know. For me, it's kind of shameful on the gaming. There world. you go. Shameful. That's a good one. On the gaming world. Like it doesn't become it, anything yeah. about gaming anymore. You know, that's true. Video like, games. I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but like, 
if you want porn, then go get porn. Like, I don't know, like, <laughs> like straight up. You know, like, I, like, I'm not trying to <laughs> right. say that, but right. like, that's what it kind of is in a way. I guess it would be considered a fetish in a way. It's just, I don't know. It's just dumb. It is putting a bad name for a YouTube gaming and all that stuff. That's not what. It's about nerds, just being nerds and hanging out and playing some video games and having a good time. Connecting in a way where you guys are just a part of a community, having fun, playing some video games. It should not be about... And and here's here's especially why I hate that. Um, how, like, the women are just, you know, just putting themselves out there in such a gross, um, risque way. Like, there's kids watching your stuff. Yeah, there's just like kids. the bulk of the people that watch our streams and um, videos are like 11 years old. You know, that's probably the average age that we have. And another thing about that is like you're a big influence on these kids. A lot yeah. of kids come and watch your stuff, you know, and yeah. like, you know, whether you like it or not, like you're an influence on them, yeah. you know, and you got Some of these people look up to you. And there's like that campaign or whatever. Porn kills love. This is basically paving the way for them to get older and be like, oh, it's OK. It's fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if they look up to you, it's like, oh, I look up to them. They're one of my heroes. And if they're fine with doing that, then I'm OK with doing that, too. And it's not OK. It's just not. It's disgusting. I don't know. It's yeah. oh, copping out, dude. Yeah, and it's not only just it's not only just with women. It's it's guys who yeah. you know they'll take their shirt off. That's or... actually that brings up a good point. Like the first one of the first live streams that I ever did back in the day. Oh, yeah. You remember this? <laughs> yeah, on I YouTube, this. I think it was like my first YouTube live. No, I, it might have been. I think on it was Twitch. on Twitch. It was on, Twitch. It was on Twitch. Twitch. And I'm just like, gosh, we even got more views back back then on Twitch for some reason. I don't even know why Rocket League was big <laughs> for us, but freaking yeah someone just comes in and it's like take your shirt off <laughs> i didn't even like i had no you idea didn't even acknowledge i didn't it. even acknowledge because i was such a shock i didn't even say anything for like a whole minute yeah. i was you like say oh anything mm. and then i just like kind of played the game and i'm like i feel like i need to address this but i have no idea what to say right now yeah and it's just like i would never do that like obviously yeah. it probably would have gotten me a subscriber or whatever from that person, but it's just like that's just wrong, dude. It's just like you're basically just selling your body for subscribers exactly. and, view and views, you exactly. know. Exactly. And, and it's just like that's that's just not the way to do it. It's kind of the same, yeah. Same, and then it's like that's the same principle for just clickbaiting and all that stuff. You're just selling. Clickbaiting. You're just selling. Like YouTube yeah, like, is your body, and you're just selling it. It's just. Yeah selling it for money dude i don't know you got to have a moral compass you got to have some dignity in this business you got to stand by your like that's something that i take pride in in our uh youtube channel is like we really work hard on just keeping it clean and every way family you know? yeah family like, oriented because like we know that there's a lot of kids out there watching these streams you know yeah. and it's like you're basically just when you do that it that's just such a you're such a i don't know like yeah. we get emails from people and they're like like, oh, we love this channel so much. Thank you guys so much for, you yeah. know, live streaming. And, you know, like, you guys are the best. And they say these things, and it just makes me like, man, these guys, like, really look up to us. Yeah, you know? so you got to set like, an example. you got to set an example. Yeah. Yeah. you got to keep it family-oriented. you got all these little kids, you know, that are out and watching these live streams and stuff like that. And yeah, I think it's just really important, you know, to... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see that. Because uh, we have gotten quite a few people that... Um, that come to the streams and they're just like, our whole family's watching you right now or whatever. I'm yeah, just like, that what? Happens. Like, <laughs> we're like, yeah, like your live stream's like on our TV right now. Yeah. Like, it's, and it's like, oh, wow. Like, you know, these like kids' parents are watching us. Like, and, you know, oh. what are we, you know, what are we like showing these kids? Yeah. Like, what are we, you know? And that's how families should be. They should be able to like watch stuff with each other and all that stuff. But if you're, if you're doing like risque things, the kids are not going to want to watch that with their parents and it's just going to close them off. And then that's going to end up being yeah. huge problems in the future. I was going to say exactly like the parents are just going to be like, you can't watch these guys anymore. Yeah. And they're like, you just and lost gonna, viewers, yeah, you exactly. know? So it's like, that could even, that could hurt you if anything. So, that's you true. know, it just, it's. This topic, I feel like not a lot of people talk about this. I know no. some people talk about clickbait stuff, but right. um, selling your yeah. just it's just it's selling a picture, you know, to get views, yeah. and it's like this has nothing to do with your video or yeah. you know what I mean. It's just I wish that people out there would have more dignity and mm -hmm. 
realize that there's Preach so it. many people watching your videos that you need to be a better influence on them and you know yep i wouldn't want my kids you know going off and like watching this like live streamer who you know just that's true that's something <laughs> it's actually um there's i've i've watched quite a few um youtube channels where i mean they use like a lot of vulgar language and they talk about a lot of inappropriate stuff or whatever um back in the day and they have kids and they're just like oh i i my my kids are not allowed to watch my channel <laughs> yeah yeah i've heard that <laughs> yeah i've heard that where they're like yeah my kids like i don't want them to watch my channel like they can't <laughs> like it's just interesting oh, man it's, it's it's an interesting youtube is a very interesting field uh um, ecosystem dude it's 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 definitely interesting oh yeah it's all over <laughs> it's good it's good though everyone's their own person everyone you know yeah. has like their own way of doing youtube and that's right. totally fine yeah um it, i don't know it's just an interesting topic to talk about and so yeah i don't know do you have anything else on the subject no i think i'm good i think we covered it so freaking youtube channels and all that stuff that are just selling your youtube body for money Get your freaking crap together, you filthy animals, you freaking idiots. <laughs> freaking idiots. Freaking idiots. Duh. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> if you guys have you guys have any like if you guys want to make any comments, please comment below. Like we want to know what you guys think of the subject. Yeah. Um if you liked it, like it, guys. And if you disagree, go ahead and leave a dislike. Um, but like we'd love to hear comments about what you guys think about the subjects. And, yeah, and if you guys have any more yeah. um, ideas for subjects in the future, we're always looking for more ideas. It, it could be challenging looking for this week's idiots. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have any ideas, definitely post uh, some ideas for future topics in the um, in the comments below. Oh, for sure. thanks for joining. Remember, everybody, you guys rock, Dermot Change. Have a great summer. You can always donate to patreoncom slash pasty if you guys want to get live streams a whole week earlier or get your YouTube channel advertised, there are rewards for every single donation package. So check it out. And boom. And WP. Jason's already got the W up. WP. WAP! Sounds like a lot of. Hoopla!